So I want to have a little bit of fun. Uh, not too long ago, a good friend of yours, General Jerry Boykin, sat in that very seat you're sitting in, and I asked him to, to tell me a little bit about Bishop E.W. Jackson. And he did a little riff, and it was a whole lot of fun. So now it's your turn. Tell me what well, you, tell, tell me about you. I know he's a good friend. He's a very, very dear friend, one of the closest friends I have. And, and you know, he, he always, he never fails to remind me that because I'm a Marine, um, I'm challenged. Um, <laughs> but, you know, most people don't know this, that he, of course, General Jerry Boykin, you know, um, Lieutenant General, retired from the United States Army, war hero. Right. And I, and I really have, I mean, I can't tell you how much I admire his service to our country and he's still doing it. But, you know, he doesn't tell most people this, that the first time he ran into me, he sensed that I was a Marine. He saluted without really realizing what he was doing because, you know, Army generals salute Marine corporals uh, because right. they realize how great the Marine Corps there is and they stand in awe when they <laughs> right. meet a Marine. That's so <laughs> he can't help himself when he sees me yeah. to, to go into some sort of riff about the Marine Corps because deep down inside, there's an envy there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and even though he's a Lieutenant General, deep inside he's wishing, Boy, I wish I could have been a Marine Corps corporal. How about I would it? have really, I'd have really been great there. <laughs> How about that? Well, he also spoke about following you, or actually, uh, I don't know if he followed you, but y'all were speaking in an engagement together, and he said, don't ever, <laughs> don't ever let me speak after Bishop Jackson. Well, you know what? That That's very kind of Jerry, but I'll tell you something. He is second to none. I mean, because he he has told some stories that have left me, I, I mean, just in awe about right. the things that he's gone through, the right. sacrifices that he's made. Uh, and no one can tell those stories as eloquently as he can. Uh, so, so yeah, we're kind of a mutual admiration society, yeah. seriously. Uh, but I, I have the deepest respect for him uh, and, and, you know, for what he's doing right now, because, you know, he spent, I think it's 36 years in the United That's States right, Army. 36 years. In special operations, right. wounded twice in combat. And here he is now still fighting for his country, still fighting to make sure that America remains a land of freedom and opportunity and hope. Um, and, and you'll never meet. Look, if you met this guy and didn't know that he had retired from special forces, I mean, he's one of the most loving people and kind and decent people you ever want to meet. So uh, I, 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 in actuality, I salute Lieutenant General Jerry Boykin, uh, a dear friend a great patriot and a man of God.